I'm Mark Calloway, AC Applications Engineer for Man and Machine. Today I'm going to show you design options within Revit. Design options allow you to create multiple design options within an existing space. This means you, there's no need for multiple projects or creating multiple spaces for the same purpose. We can have one space and we can create different options that don't conflict with each other. In this project here I've gone ahead and created myself a room and I'm going to divide this room and create some classrooms. I'm going to create multiple design options and I'm then going to choose one of those and bring it into the main model. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head to my manage tab and I have a section here for design options. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button for design options. Moving here we have the main editing window with a list of all our option sets and options which is currently empty. On the right we can create new option sets and below that we can create options. So for this example I'm going to create a new option set and I'm going to rename that as classrooms. Option sets allow us to categorize our different options. So in this example, I'm going to create multiple options for a layout within the classroom space. You could create additional option sets for reception and staff room, and they themselves could have their own options within them. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple more additional options, and I'm going to close that window. At present, I am working in the main project, but under our design options section we have this drop down menu here where I can switch to the option sets that I've created. If I switch to option set 1 you can now see that the main project is uneditable and anything I create will only exist within option 1. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide this space. straight down the middle and I'm going to place a couple of desks so that's my first option created so I'm going to go back to my Manage tab, Design Options, and I'm now going to select Option 2. You will see that all the furniture and architectural walls that I created in Option 1 have now disappeared. This is because they only exist within that option. I'm now going to go ahead and create a second option set. This is now my second option. On the Manage tab, I can change between option set 1 and option set 2, and you can see how I have different options available within the same space. This allows me to cleanly organize my different designs, and I can accept, uh, I can accept my primary design, and that will then move into the main project. So, once I've completed all my options I want, I go back to design options, I select which option I want to be my primary option, in this case I'll go with option 2, and then I'm going to select my option set and accept primary. What this will do is it will delete all the other option sets, so only do this once you are confident that you're not going to change your mind, and that's going to bring all the options back into the main model. 
thank you for watching.